Hello, you are welcome to solve for x in this nice algebra equation involving roots. Here we have square root of x square plus x square, which is equal to x square. Then from here we can square both sides. In order to remove this square root here, then we square both sides. So that square we remove square root here. Then we are left with x square plus x square, which is equal to here. This power we multiply and we have x raised to power 4. Then from here, we have x square plus x square, same thing as 2x square, which is equal to x raised to power 4 here. Then let's take this to this side and uh, we rearrange. We have x raised to power 4 minus 2x squared now which is equal to 0 then we can solve this by factoring x squared out x squared is common so we have x squared into bracket what to be left here is x squared then minus 2 left here which is equal to 0 then we have two cases here we have x squared equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 2 equals to 0 so from here when we square both sides x will still be equal to 0 here so we have one of the values of x to be equal to 0 then on this side we have x square to be equal to 2 when we take minus 2 here become plus then also square root both sides from here square cancel square root and we have x here equals to plus or minus root 2 so this implies that we have x1 the first solution that is x equals to 0 and also we have x2 from here that is plus root 2 which is root 2 and x3 from here minus root 2 so these are the three solutions to this given problem now to check if this satisfy the problem for the first one which is x equals to 0 given square root of x square plus x square is equals to x square when you put 0 here for the first you know value of x this will become square root of 0 square plus 0 square is equal to 0 square of course 0 square is still 0 so we have square root of 0 plus 0 here which is equal to 0 is equal to 0 of course 0 plus 0 is 0 and square root of 0 is equal to 0 so square root of 0 is 0 which is equal to 0 then we can see that x equals to 0 here satisfy the given uh, problem also let's check for square root of 2 root 2 so when we put root 2 here we have square root of root 2 square plus root 2 square is equals to root 2 square from here then in here we have Square we cancel square root here, we are left with 2 plus 2, so square root of 2 plus 2, that's square root of 4. Also on this side, square cancel square root, we are left with 2 here, so square root of 4 on this side is of course 2, which is equals to 2. Also left hand side equals to the right hand side, this confirms that s equals to root 2 satisfy the given problem. Also for minus root 2, when we put minus root 2 here as well, we have square root of minus root 2 square plus x is minus root 2 there, then plus square, square root of okay, minus root 2 also, we have minus root 2 square, that's x, is it equals to minus root 2 square from here? Then from here, this square we affect minus, and when you square minus, it becomes plus. So of course, 
this will still be plus 2 so we have square root of 2 now plus 2 also 2 here is it equals to here also will be 2 because minus square is plus then root 2 squared as 2 so is it equals to 2 so we have 2 plus 2 here of course as 4 root 4 is it equals to 2 of course this is 2 and then which is equals to 2 on this side then left hand side equals to right hand side then we can conclude from here that x equals to minus root 2 also satisfies the given eh, problem and then we have come to the end of this problem thank you for watching subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell share this video give a thumbs up and uh, put your comment in the comment section thank you for watching see you next class and bye for now